Okay, welcome back, viewers. Um, it's Dave here from Perth West Styles. Um, sort of today, I'll, I just finished work and um, I just finished off this um, <coughs> FPV system where you can use your uh, action cam if you've already got one. Okay, now this is just a $50 action cam that I've been using uh, for the past, well, since I started the channel basically, a bit after I started. So, yeah, um, I use it for my flights and mainly hat cam footage. Um, I use it on the Bugs 3 a couple of times as well. Okay, so um, I was looking through YouTube and that, other videos on how to make an FPV system out of your camera. And basically, <clears throat> what I have here is a mount made for the X16. You can also use it for an X8 uh, series quadcopter. I'll be using on the uh, the X15 clone that I made first. Um, just got a, enough power to lift it, I think. Well, I hope. <laughs> anyway, um, all I had to do is mainly modify the side of it, I had to drill a big hole. I'll show you the purpose of that later. Um, basically, all you need to do is, if, if you've got a receiver, um, I've got a spare one here. It's a 200 milliamp, uh, milliwatt one. It's worth about 70 bucks Australian. Uh, if you haven't got one of these, you're gonna need one for this application. Uh, obviously, it's not an all-in-one FPV camera that you can buy, and that a lot of us use. There's little mini ones with the aerial attached to it, because uh, obviously you don't have an aerial with this. So, <clears throat> basically, <clears throat> with the receiver, I've got one here that I'm using. This is a 25 milliwatt one that I'm going to test out uh, first. I just slipped the uh, whole receiver in there inside the uh, anti jello rubber rubber uh, balls in between the, the actual clipping of the mount and the actual um, camera holder. Okay, now um, to connect this is the AV cable you have to buy from eBay. I think I paid uh, uh, five bucks, something like that, six bucks. I'm talking all, all the <clears throat> money that I'm talking. The values of the money is Australian dollars, so you can sort of convert that if you're in the US or whatever, UK. Okay, so, um, yeah, that cost me about five bucks Aussie off eBay. And um, <clears throat> the receiver itself, because of the JST connector for a LiPo battery, you're going to need a, a two-cell, a mini two-cell power it with a JST connector the male one I've got one here that I've velcroed onto the bottom okay so basically um this cable here I'll go back onto this sorry about that uh, this has two wires coming out of it on the other end you can't really see them here but I've taped them up and basically they're AV positive which is the yellow one AV negative, okay. And basically, all you got to do is do them to the corresponding, join them to the corresponding wires on the receiver itself. So, AV plus and minus, okay. And I've just taped mine up. I didn't bother soldering them, just like taped them up very tightly. So that's basically it. <clears throat> and what you got to do. How to make it operate before I put this in actually All right. I'll just leave that there the little aerial comes with the receiver too okay so when you start your action cam up you just got to go through the menu so So, I'll 
go through the menus. Your one might be different. This is like an Eakin style camera. Now there's a TV format and there's a TV switch. Okay, so I've got to turn TV switch on. All right, now the screen on this one goes blank. All right, put the camera in like that. Close the latch. Oh, guys. <laughs> okay. Close the latch. I'll grab the... Get all my goggles up. Where's the connection there? Okay, so you can use this on a TV monitor as well, but with a TV monitor, you got to buy a receiver for the monitor. Okay. And... Let's see. Oh, I've got to plug that in, obviously. Plug that in. And... There you go. Whoops. I'll get the straps out of the way. See me in the picture? Try to get the right angle. Okay, there I am in the picture. There we go. Bit of sunlight coming through, but anyway. Let me see. So there you go, you can see what the camera sees. There you go. So I'm just behind the camera here with a tripod. You can see everything the camera sees. Okay. So there you go. It's operating. And basically, um, you can see all the menus. Just leave it like that for now. Let me see if we can see anything here. It's a bit hard to show the... Uh, monitor on the screen but there you can you see the quadcopter there in the background and yeah you can start recording it's like an on-screen display you can see the date it's recording the timer in the corner see it's counting up it's flashing showing it's recording and so forth okay so that's basically how you can set up your FPV system utilizing your own sports camera this is a key basically is this AV cable to get the live TV format <clears throat> and you're good to go okay so I hope that's uh, that's helped you understand a bit I mean I'm new to all this so this is the first for me actually took me a little while to figure it out until I watched a few YouTube videos yesterday and um, yeah I worked it out it's pretty easy to do so there you go you can see me just there taking video alright guys well on that note Thanks for watching, and um, hope this video has helped you, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.